With Cerulean City behind me, it was time to head south to Vermilion City. Route 5 gives me a Meowth, and I don't bother with the daycare center since it felt like cheating. Taking the tunnel, which lacks trainers, items, Pokemon, or anyone to talk to for some reason, I arrive on the other side in Route 6. Route 6 has nothing but duplicates, so there was nothing for me to catch there, unfortunately. Since he was falling behind in level, I had Charmander chew through the small number of trainers on the way to Vermilion City and gain some levels. But the route was just so short, there was nothing worth mentioning going on there. I arrived in Vermilion and had a good look around, talking to everybody and seeing if there was anything extra I could pick up. An old man there gave me the old rod, don't laugh, and I went back to Route 6 to try for a Magikarp, only to end up killing it. Oh well. With the local gym behind a tree that needed to be cut down, I was going to have to get on the SS Anne. The SS Anne is a cruise liner that it's packed to the gills with traveling Pokemon trainers, many of them water types, so I was going to have to sit and train for a while. I got some evolutions going, you know, Charmeleon, Nidorino, etc, etc, and was feeling pretty confident in myself. Now I just needed a star player for the upcoming electric type gym. Thankfully, I'd caught a Geodude back on Mount Moon and just needed to... Well, shit. I have no excuse for this one. This was absolutely my negligence. I should have babied Geodude way harder and not let him fight a grass type at all. But there it is. Hand Grenade the Geodude was my first Nuzlocke death. And this certainly throws a monkey wrench in my future plans because I was saving him for a certain someone way later down the line, but I suppose we'll have to cross that bridge when we get to it. Sorry, Hand Grenade. I barely knew you, but you did your best. With a heavy heart, I buried him in the graveyard box. The only silver lining here is that I didn't teach him Rock Tomb, the TM that Brock gave me way back in Pewter City. I still had that in my bags. I ended up teaching it to Prince Mogwai the Nidorino instead. This also made planning for the third gym's Lieutenant Surge very difficult, as I had nothing that had a type advantage over him. I had some Pokemon that didn't interact with electricity poorly, but this is a Nuzlocke. I need an advantage, not an even playing field. I did some reading, ran the numbers, and fretted over it for a few days. Fun fact, I was actually kind of scared of Lieutenant Surge's Raichu as a child, because I'd seen the episodes in the anime where this little monster actually hospitalized hundreds of Pokemon at a time. Even series' favorite Pikachu ended up in a hospital bed. Yeah, the original anime actually had some teeth. If I was going to challenge Lieutenant Surge and this little psychopath, I would need something. Anything that wouldn't suffer as much as the average Mon in the face of electrical attacks. Then I stumbled across the answer. Turns out, Nidoking is poison ground, not just straight poison like Nidoran or Nidorino. This is way earlier than I would have liked, but with Geodude's death and no other options, it was time to use the Moonstone. Now rise, Nidoking! <laughs> I was honestly going to wait until like level 50 or something and make a whole song and dance about waiting for the right time for this evolution to take place, but now we don't really have a choice. With Nidoking assuming the throne, he became by far my party's heaviest hitter. 
but we were going to need the HM cut to get to Lieutenant Surge, so it was time to board the SS Anne. Using the ticket that we got from Bill, I stepped aboard to find the place packed with Pokemon battles, useful items, private cabins, a whole kitchen level, a deck to run around on, and Gary. <laughs> You pointy-haired, purple-pants-wearing prick. Get out of my way. I gave Gary a good spanking and sent him on his way, and then went to the captain for the HM cut. Apparently, he's supposed to be some sort of master swordsman, so skilled that he could teach Pokemon how to cut things. But back when this game came out, there was no room for character development, so... Brief mention of his life story it is, I guess. I made triple sure to completely clean out the SSN of all its items and Pokemon battles and stuff before leaving, and the boat took off as soon as I stepped off. Armed with the cut HM, I was ready to step into Lieutenant Surge's gym. I always did scratch my head at this gym, even as a kid playing it on the Game Boy Pocket. He's called the Lightning American, which tells me that there is an America in the Pokemon world. Along with that, the entire gym is filled with trash cans. You taking a dig at America, Pokemon? You got a problem with America? Well, me too, but that's beside the point. I let Mankey take out all the trainers as he was tantalizingly close to evolving, and in a wonderful twist of fate, he hit level 27 with the last regular trainer of the gym. As a reward, I fed him the rare candy that I'd found a long time ago and evolved him into Primeape. Very nice. After the head-scratching switches inside of garbage cans puzzle, Nido King made very short work of Lieutenant Surge. Yeah, he's overleveled a bit, but I honestly thought Raichu was supposed to be level 30. Like, I was dead sure. I guess a couple of decades erodes your memories of certain Pokemon boss battles. Anyway, Lieutenant Surge's team was absolutely no threat to Nido King, going as far as Raichu suffering from Nido King's contact poison ability before he was completely blown out of the water. The Thunder Badge was ours. This marked a bit of a turning point in the game for me, as my acute memories of the game sort of stop here. I know the names and the typings of the gym leaders ahead, but how to get there and what happens in between is a bit of a mystery to me. That means the run of this Nuzlocke is only going to get harder as I progress, and I can't afford to be careless like I was with poor Hand Grenade the Geodude if I was going to succeed. <laughs> 